Hi guys, welcome to part 3 of episode 18. This should be our final part in this episode. We just have a few more days to play the Lothario family. Dawn has asked Sandy Broody on a date and she said yes, so he brought her to his favorite nightclub, Pure. And we are going to have them go in here and get their date on. She wants to play with him, dance with him. I think they should get come in here and dance. Come on, Sandy. Um, call over. And I gotta make sure none of Don's other women show up. He's safe so far. Wow, this lady's getting down over here. All right, dance together. And let's see, he wants to dine out with her, tell her a joke, entertain her. She wants to have two loves at once. Talk to Dawn, play with Dawn. So I'm gonna have them stop dancing and go over here and get to know each other a little bit. Dawn and Sandy have been hanging out for a while now. It took a while, but they finally have a crush on each other. Now we're going to keep moving forward and hope that they can fall in love because he really wants to public woohoo. So I'm just going to keep working on things. They just now got the option to kiss. It's not as easy as it was with Jan because they had three bolts and he only has two with Sandy. It's still not that bad. Don and Sandy decided to come get in the hot tub on the roof. Dina's here watching him, which is kind of creepy. Um, and they only have 30 seconds left of their date. They're having a dream date. They had a really good time on the dance floor. And I don't think they're going to be able to make it to Woohoo. I'm just going to continue having them kiss and make out. They have a 100 relationship score on top, and she actually developed a crush on him before he developed a crush on her. But their lifetime relationship just isn't high enough, so I think they'll probably have to go out again before he can woo with her. Yeah, they're, oh, their date is over. Well, they had a really great time. Oh, now he wants to make out with her and stuff. So he'll have to ask her out again, um, maybe this weekend or something, so that they can get up to woohoo level. For now, he's going to go back home and uh, prepare for the birth of his new child. <laughs> Don's back at home and he decided he wanted to spend some more time with Eva. I'm having him encourage her to be more active and it looks like it's working since she is so very lazy and he's very active. I'm going to get him to encourage her to be more active. Um, but yeah, I guess that wore her out because she's got to go pass out now. <laughs> Put her to bed. It's pretty early. It's only 6 p.m. Cassandra's in bed. Oh, and another day has passed by. So, Dawn is 42 now. Cassandra is 43. And little Eva is now 6 years old. Another thing that I want to do before I forget, before the new baby is born, is I'm going to buy the bat box really quick. And I'm going to save my game. There's this thing in The Sims 2 called firstborn syndrome where all of your babies could be exactly the same. So she could be giving birth to an exact replica of Eva if we don't do what's called rolling the pacifier or we can just use the bat box to, let me see, where is it? randomized sim generator and it's as far as I know to my knowledge it was never fixed not even in the ultimate collection so you your sims could definitely have clone babies and that's only for each time you play the game like if she were to have two babies during this play 
session, you wouldn't have to reset it, but because she's having a baby for the first time during this play session, I do have to reset it. Anyway, I'm not explaining it very well. If you want to know more about this, just Google Sims 2 Firstborn Syndrome. You can use the bat box to fix it so you get, um, you get different genetics for each of your children, so that's what I do. I'm going to do that now and you'll see what happens. I'm going to get Dawn to do it actually. And it will quit without saving, which is why I just saved. So, and it's going to send you back to the neighborhood screen. And that means it works. You can get the same result if you just go into create a sim and like roll the genetic pacifier. That'll also re-randomize the genetics. But I have had the firstborn syndrome happen to me in while playing the Ultimate Collection. So I always do this to be safe whenever I, a family is having a second baby and it's not in the same play session. I hope that makes sense. It's Thursday around midnight and Cassandra and Eva went to bed and Don was wide awake so he decided to ask Sandy Broody back out on another date um, back to the same place where he likes to go uh, to see if he can get her to public woohoo this time. They have a score, a relationship score of 98 over 51 on his side. Looks like they're just going to go straight upstairs. They're not even going to worry about dancing this time. I find these like fire things kind of annoying. The noise that they make. Anyway. Let's see what they want to do. He wants to slow dance. Or she wants to slow dance. Talk. Dance. Play. They always start out wanting to do stuff like that. He wants to joke with her gonna have him tell her a dirty joke and see if she goes for that. Some sims like dirty jokes and some sims don't. She looks into it. <laughs> she loved it. Oh, they're like best friends now. That's good. I gotta do get all this innocent stuff out of the way now. Talk. Just gossip. I like to gossip because it's fast. Oh, she wants to kiss and stuff now. Oops. They're gonna just go straight for the make out. Oh, no, not a pillow fight. Make out. Where, do, where are they getting these pillows from? That's where I, what I want to know. And Sandy just fell in love with Dawn. She wants to woohoo with him. And have her very first woohoo with him. But he's not quite there. He needs a little bit more warming up before he's ready. So I'm just going to have them make out a couple times. That gives them a lot of... Uh, Points. Who is this coming up the stairs? There's Darren Dreamer. I'm just watching out to make sure none of Don's other women are heading up here to catch him. Alright, let's see if that did it. Oh, so close. Okay. Um, just give her a romantic kiss now. <laughs> yeah, he was really happy about that. Did you see that? He was like, yes! Oh, okay. He's now in love with her. And he wants to woohoo in the car with her. And he just got his want to get five loves at, to have five loves at once. So he now has five loves. And he wants to woohoo in the car with her. So... She doesn't have any particular place she wants to woohoo, so I guess they're going to go sit in the car and woohoo in the car. There's a perfectly good hot tub right there, but I guess he wants more privacy. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, he just got caught by Jan! 
Oh no, he totally got busted. No. Oh my gosh, that's bad. That sucks. So he, well, he's still in love with her. So he still might be able to fix that relationship. Unlike his relationship with Dina, which is unfixable. He still might be able to fix things with her. So they're going to go to another lot immediately. They're going to get out of here. Um, let's see. Where can they go? It really doesn't matter because he wants to woohoo in the car. Um, they're going to go to the Crypto Night Club. Come on, Sandy. we got to get out of here away from Jan. Jan and Sandy are wearing exactly the same outerwear. Alright, get out of the way, Sarah. Oh, he just can't go anywhere without getting busted. When you have that many women, it's like so hard to go anywhere. Downtown, he usually has a better chance downtown than he does in Pleasant View, but... That did not work out for him. I am going to repair that relationship with Jan, though. Okay, here they are at the Crypto Night Club. Right now, they're just going to sit in the vehicle and wo try to woohoo in the vehicle. This is a custom vehicle, so I hope it works. It's not letting them do it yet. Okay, sit in vehicle. Alright, Sandy, why do you keep going to the driver's side? Ask to join. Man, they were so close to getting out of the last club before Jan saw them. Or at least getting into the car. I don't know if that... She'd probably still catch them. Alright, they're going to woohoo in here. There are two of the uh, gypsy ladies here. Okay. So he got his wants to public woohoo. He wants to make out with her, so I'll just have him make out in the car. So he's he's really in platinum status now. I'm really bummed about what happened with Jan, but it's still fixable. She wants to woohoo in the car again, and so does he. Oh my god, okay. Go for it. <laughs> wow, that must have been really good. The car jumped up in the air like five feet. Okay, he wants to woohoo with ten different sims. I'm going to lock that for him, and we'll try to make that happen. Oh gosh, oh that was... Lilith Pleasant is here. I gotta watch out. John Burb is here. And Jennifer Burb. Okay, he wa they want to do it again! If Sandy Broody was a playable character, she would probably be getting knocked up from this. Dustin's bank account has gained $200, and he must be on this lot somewhere. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for him, I guess. He got some extra interest. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the date now. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning, and they've woohooed already three times in the car. Ask Sandy to get out. Just kick her out in the street. Get out of here. Alright, um, end date. Look at him strutting around. <laughs> He's proud of himself. Oh boy, Don. He wants to public woohoo with three different sims, so we'll lock that for him too. That'll probably be the next thing he does. Okay, so he's going to go home and get some more rest. 
He's, he's always trying to do that bow he learned on vacation. It's Friday at 11 a.m. and Cassandra is about to give birth to the new Lothario baby. Wow, she is huge. Don is here with her. Um, he's just sitting there silently supporting her. <laughs> Get up, Don. He's coming to watch the birth. Eva is here because there was another snow day. So she's going to be here for the birth of her sibling. Oh, I can't wait to see if it's going to be a boy or a girl. And of course, it has black hair and brown eyes, like all of their children. And it's a boy. We've got a baby boy. So we're going to name him Primo. <laughs> and this is the name of Don's grandfather. And I'm naming him this because it's an Italian name that means first or best. And this is their first son. And they're going to name him after Don's grandfather, Primo. So this is Primo Lothario. Oh, Don seems to be happy about having a son. Let's get a closer look at him. Oh my gosh, he's cute. He looks just like all their babies do. I wonder if they'll ever have a green-eyed baby. Oh, well, he is adorable. So I guess we're going to have to remodel the uh, very pink nursery over here and make this into a nursery for a little boy. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I've, I basically just recolored everything in the nursery to make it more um, blue for a little boy. So here's how the new nursery looks. And it's all ready for baby Primo. So we'll just have Cassandra cuddle him and play with him and go feed him a bottle and put him in his new nursery. <laughs> Don is very happy about his son, so that's good. Oh, he's really mad about Jan Tellerman, though. We gotta do something about that. He just wants to public woohoo and woohoo with Tin Sims and be BFF with Sandy Broody and be best friends with Jan. I'm going to have him call Jan right now and talk to her. No, you can't hang out, Kaylin. Sorry, Cassandra's here. Eva also has a love of music, just like her dad. She's already level 4 in creativity, and she wants to get level 5. I'm going to encourage that behavior, especially because she's lazy, and I'm not sure how many skills she's going to work on. She has a charisma skill that she got when she was a baby. Um, let's take a look at her interests as well, which I don't think I did before. She's very interested in school and animals. So that's pretty cool. I think they should have an interest for music. <laughs> Look at Don. He is getting down to this piano music. This is a very musical family, even though none of them have a... Um, a hobby of music and we still don't know what Eva's hobby is even though she's got enthusiasm in music and dance I think today we'll try to figure out what her hobby actually is we can encourage her in that as well Cassandra is proud of her <laughs> Don just got home from work and he has been promoted to general practitioner because he talked to the diva at the nightclub the other night and she promised him that she was going to call in a favor and get him promoted. Um, he now is a real doctor, a general practitioner, practitioner 
The pay won't be high, but you'll help a lot of less fortunate Sim citizens through broken bones, pregnancies, and measles. You will be handling a lot yourself, but don't slack off on the skill building. You may want a different job someday. <laughs> Don now works from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., so now he has a regular schedule instead of working at night. And he brought home 847 simoleons and a bonus of 1694. So good for you, Don. Now he's really going to be able to impress the ladies when he can say that he's actually a doctor. And he doesn't even have close to the skills needed, so it's just his pure charm that got him this far. I've spent a lot of time with Eva today trying to figure out what her hobby was. This is actually the last thing that I've tried, but I found out that her hobby is arts and crafts. So she loves painting, and I think that's really appropriate. She's going to be like a romantic painter. Um, I had her try film and literature, games, tinkering science, fitness, nature, sports. <laughs> and the very last thing I did was buy an easel and have her paint, and that is her hobby. I really think that suits her and that's going to help build her character so I'm probably going to have her uh, work on her creativity if she wants. She really also loves music and she has pretty high creativity skill already um, through music so she's a very creative sim. She's very creative, romantic, she's going to be a free... Um, a free spirit when she grows up. It's getting close to uh, Primo's birthday where we're finally going to get to see what he's going to look like kind of as a um, toddler. So I'm excited about that. Don is upstairs banging away on his drums. Ooh, he needs to stop and go take care of his needs. Don's hobby is I'm pretty sure it's fitness even though it doesn't show up here and he's never done anything to keep himself fit and um, he still is very fit though but I wish he would get the want to buy like some exercise equipment because all he wants to do is play drums but I mean if that's what he wants to do that's what I'm gonna let him do even though his one true hobby it's not his one true hobby Cassandra's hobby is tinkering which she never does um, I think they can get tinkering enthusiasm from the remote control car, so I might buy them a remote control car in the future. Don, what are you doing? You're going to have to go take a bath in the kids' bathroom. Oh. Eva's just been invited to the My Muse Music and Dance Studio. Wow, look at this townie, or this uh, secret lot guy. Oh, anyway, he was wearing like a midriff shirt. That's what I get for having so many untuckable jeans in my catalog. Cassandra is really tired, but she's going to have to stay awake because it's now 6 p.m., it's time for little Primo to age up. It looks like Dawn's going to get him now. Oh, here he goes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. We're going to have to change his hair. Um, normally, I don't change the toddler hair. But I don't think it, he would have this texture of hair. Um, it's the same texture that Kevin Burb has. So we're going to change his hair, but we can see his cute little face. And he is adorable in his little Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Alright, let's look at him. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute little expression. Primo just grew up from a baby to a toddler. So I want to check out his personality. He is a Scorpio, and I'm going to have to double check that. Yeah, Scorpios are fortune sim, so he's going to be a fortune sim. Look at this personality. He is extremely active, playful, outgoing, and neat, but he's not that nice. He's kind of on the grouchy side. <laughs> Let's see what his similarities are to his parents. So he's as active and outgoing as his dad. 
and neat and playful like his mom. It's like he got the best of both of their traits. And he's kind of on the grouchy side like Cassandra and Don. They both have the same four nice points, and so does he. He's very different from his sister. Very different. She's very nice and neat and lazy, but he's very neat. I mean, she's very nice but sloppy and lazy. He's very neat. What am I trying to say? She's very nice, sloppy, and lazy. He is not that nice, but he's very neat and active. So this is going to be interesting. All right, Don is going to go and change his hair really quick. There's no mirror in that bathroom. I need to put a mirror in there. Oh, don't change your appearance. Change Primo's appearance. I just don't think that hair suits him. It's kind of a, a texture that I wouldn't expect from this family because they have sort of like smooth, straight hair. So this is the only time that I change toddler hair is when they have this hair and I don't think it genetically fits them. So I'm just going to give him this first little hair here, which is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at him. Yes. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> Alright, let's look at his interests too. I didn't look at his interests. Right now, he's interested in travel, paranormal, school, and sci-fi. <laughs> Primo is our first baby born and our second generation of in sim or in game born Sims. Oh, he's precious. Eva just completed her first painting and it is actually really good. I'm so proud of her. I mean, she does have a pretty high creativity skill, but that is really nice. We're going to frame that and put that up in her room. Um, I think it could go right here, actually. Let's frame it uh, in white. Oh, it's out in the middle of the room because I have move objects on. <laughs> All right, let me turn that off. There we go. I got to put the walls up. Oops. I think I'm going to move it over here. But how cute is that? She's going to be quite the little artist. Good for you, Eva. Don and Cassandra are over here flirting in the bathroom. And let's check on little Primo. Oh, he's in the high chair. I don't know why he's in the high chair. The, uh... Butler must have put him in there and just left him in there. So we're going to go get him out. Cassandra's been working on his potty training skill. Let's see if he needs to potty. No, he doesn't. But he hasn't learned any of his toddler skills yet. Obviously, he's only been a toddler for a day. And nobody's really in a good enough mood to make him smart milk. So we'll just have her teach him to walk because I believe that's one of his wants. He wants to learn to walk and learn to talk. Oh my gosh, she's going to have her creativity maxed out. She's already got level 6 creativity and she's only 8 years old. Maybe she will max it out and she can get a scholarship to college if she wants to go to college. Cassandra has rolled the want to have another baby, but we're going to wait until next round to try again because it's already Sunday. And this is their last day of play for the Lotharios. Dawn is bathing little Primo. That is an adorable child. I cannot wait to see what he looks like when he grows up.
I completely forgot that I had an easel in the uh, attic. <laughs> so I guess I didn't have to buy another one for Eva. But Cassandra likes to paint on this one, so I'm just going to let her do that. And I think I might move this one to Eva's room now that we know that she's creative and she really likes painting. It will be nice for her to have her own easel in her room. So once she finishes this, I'm going to move it upstairs. Hopefully we can find a place in her room because she's got so much stuff in there. I'll probably get rid of this toy box because she never plays with it. Okay, it's Sunday at 6 p.m. Everybody has aged up again. Dawn is now 45 years old. Cassandra is 46. Eva is 9. And little Primo is 3 years old. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. In our next episode, it looks like little Primo is going to age up to a child. And Eva will age up to a teenager in round 3. Um, this has been a very eventful episode. <laughs> a lot has happened. Cassandra was demoted due to poor work performance, but then she got re-promoted back to science teacher, which is a job I love for her. I think she's perfect for that. She loves working with kids. She's a family sim. Um, Dawn and Cassandra took a vacation to Takamizu Village where Cassandra got pregnant, and when she got back, she gave birth to little baby Primo, who is an adorable child. I just can't wait to see what his, what's going to happen with his life. Eva aged up to a child. Um, when she was a toddler, she learned all of her toddler skills. Cassandra taught her to talk and taught her to use the potty and Dawn taught her to walk so I love that, that they both had a hand in her development um, Dawn oh boy he got an, into a fist fight with Nina and we found out that their relationship is pretty much unfixable um, so they're not I'm not going to try to pursue that anymore um, he did get together with Sandy Broody <laughs> Dawn woohooed old fish lips and he got caught when he was on a date with Sandy by Jan Tellerman. So we've got to work on that relationship in the future, fixing that. Hopefully we can do that. And let's see. We found out Eva's hobby was arts and crafts. And she's become quite a creative little painter. I think she might even max out creativity before she goes to college. So that would be awesome. Um, and I think that's about it. Little Primo aged up to a toddler. We found out that he's a Scorpio, so he's going to be a fortune sim. And, yeah, just a lot happened, so that's why this had to be a three-part episode. We're going to end it here. I'm going to go ahead and play them through till Monday morning off camera. I don't think anything else exciting is going to happen. I appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Um, Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you're interested in any of the mods I use or my gameplay rules, you can visit my blog at PleasantSims.com. I also have all my Sim profiles and family trees there. Um, there are some tutorials and speed builds and just all different stuff that has to do with The Sims 2. And if you're on Twitter, feel free to follow me at PleasantSims. Again, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you with episode 19 very soon where we're going to go back and play Dina Goth and Alexander Goth.